how confusing is it to the customer to get a, to get a coupon in the mail that says $19.95, to go on your website that says $23.95, to get an email that says $49.95? What do they think is going on at that dealership? Geez, these guys, really, it's confusing to me. And, and, it, and it, more than it does attract them, it pushes them away because they feel that you don't have a coordinated effort in your messaging. So here's another thing that's interesting. <clears throat> From a service perspective, your original equipment manufacturers do not let you go outside of your market and send sales messages. They slap you on the wrist, they send you a nasty letter, or they take away your advertising dollars. But on the service side, it's just the opposite. If I sold a car to Darren, and he doesn't live in my market, he, live, he actually lives right next to Ralph's dealership, guess who gets to send him the marketing messages through the OE program? I do. It doesn't matter that he's Darren's ne I mean, uh, Ralph's next door neighbor. So just the opposite of sales, they reverse it on the service side. So the original, original equipment manufacturer is going to let the message go to the selling dealer. What we want to show dealers how to do is dominate your market. I don't care who sold them the car. If you live in my PMA, in my area of influence, I want to own you as my service customer. So we're gonna talk about some conquests, how to go out and identify those customers and bring them into my service lane. Because again, the concept here, think about it. I'm gonna bring more people into my service lane to do what? Increase my RO count and sell more cars. The more people that I get funneled through my service lane in the morning, the more opportunities that I have to sell that customer a car if they're in the position to. So we need to identify are they in the position to buy a new car or not. We, we gotta talk about the life cycle. So there's, there's a cadence of time that the customer buys a car and throughout the history of their ownership, we need to identify what message do I send the customer, when do I send it, what is the right message, okay? Does everybody need to get the same message? If a customer serves